Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good Heart evening. Ministry Network. This is That's Just the Truth Anyhow Amen. with the Weathersby's of Sound the Alarm Ministry. I'm Pastor Arthur and Weathersby. And I'm Pastor Sherry Weathersby. Amen, amen. We welcome you back for another week. We got a whole new series for y'all. I'm telling y'all, we can't wait to get her started. I'm, that, that's just the truth anyhow. Amen. I said that before, didn't I? Praise God. Well, praise the Lord. Father, we just want to thank you, God, and give you glory and give you honor because you alone, God, are worthy to be praised. Father God, asking you first of all to forgive us for sins known and unknown, oh God. Father, we thanking you right now, God, for the blood of Jesus, mm. hallelujah, that never, never, ever loses his power. God, we thank you that we are here now, Father, and thank you, oh God, for your power, your anointing. Thank you, thank God, you. for your glory showered down upon us and all those that will be listening, God, and tuning in, Heavenly Father. God, we just want to thank you, hallelujah, for victory that we have. We live from victory. Oh, God, and we want to thank you for Jesus. You, hallelujah, for it had not been for Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, forever our souls would be lost. God, we thank you right now, God, for Heart Ministry Network, Father, and the co-founders, Pastors Ken and Brenda Divers. God, we just thank you for them. Continue to bless and keep them, Father. Yes, In God. Jesus' Hallelujah. name, God, we just thank you, God, for this grand time, Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. God, not by our might or power, but by your spirit, oh God. We need you right now, Father. In Hallelujah. Jesus' name, thank you for saving. Oh God, some soul out there, Father, that needs to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, oh God, and bring it home Lord. a backslide, oh God, in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus, Father. We thanking you right now, God, for illuminating our minds' eyes as the word of God come forth through us from heaven, oh God, in Jesus' name. Speak, God, as only you know how to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we thank you for it all, God. Let the words of our mouth, meditation, and our heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, our strength and our Redeemer, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Amen. We're going to read out of the um, Amplified Bible, Matthew 17, chapter 1st through the 8th verses. So we pray and hope that you all have your Bibles and your pencils and your notepads, because you should always have your Bible, amen, when amen. the word is coming forth, amen. So once again, Matthew, I have a parallel Bible. And we may go in um, back and forth between the King James Version and the um, Amplified, but I'm going to read out the Amplified, okay? Matthew 17, chapter, first through the eighth verses. S verse 1. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, the brother of James, and led them up on a high mountain by themselves, too. And his appearance changed dramatically in their presence. And his face shone with heavenly glory, clear and bright like the sun, and his clothing became as white as light. Three, and behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them talking with Jesus. For then Peter began to speak and said to Jesus, Lord, it is good and delightful and now auspicious that we are here. If you wish, I will put up three sacred tents here one for you one for moses and one for elijah five while he was still speaking behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and a and a voice from the cloud said this is my beloved son with whom i am well pleased and delighted listen to him six verse then the disciples heard it they fell on their faces and were terrified Seven verse, but Jesus came and touched them and said, get up and don't be afraid. Eighth verse and conclusions. And when they looked up, they saw no one except Jesus himself alone. I've read in our hearing. Praise God. Matthew 17 chapter first through the eighth verses. Amen. As always, the word of the Lord is already blessed. May he continue to bless the hearing, <laughs> reading, doing his holy, blessed word. But the Bible reminds us that we all must be doers of this word and not just a hearer. We're going to use a subject here for this new series titled, Who is the Greatest According to the Scriptures? Amen. Who is the Greatest According to the Scriptures? Now, it's the reason why this is such a question, the reason why this is such an important subject to talk about is that many people, I do believe, do not have a clear understanding of who it is that is the greatest. Uh, you know, we have, uh, oh my God, yeah, in various different type of mediums and, and very different type of form, formats. You've heard 
uh, that, that term thrown out about somebody being the greatest of all time. Matter of fact, they call him the GOAT, if you will. Mm -hmm. And they associate it with various different mediums. For instance, in sports, uh, when they talk about the greatest of all time, there's a big debate in the basketball world about who's greater, Michael Jordan or mm -hmm. Larry Bird or even LeBron James and, and a bunch of other folks, y'all. And then mm -hmm. Muhammad Ali was known in basket, I'm not basketball, in boxing as the GOAT. He was the greatest mm -hmm. of all time. But let mm -hmm. me tell you, the Bible tells us who the real greatest of all time. As a matter of fact, I know we done read in Matthew, but let us go to Philippians, if you will. And I want you to hear what the Word of God says. Uh, and I, I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to read from the, the fifth verse, the second chapter of Philippians, and I'm going to get down to where I need to go. But I need to set background for you, and that's why I'm reading the scriptures the way I'm reading it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Because, again, God's word is a lamp unto our feet, and it is a light unto our path. And here we go. We're in the Amplified Bible, and as my wife says, <laughs> that um, from time to time we got this parallel Bible. We may, and I'll use this word because I may vacillate back and forth between the two uh, second, <laughs> Philippians 2 5 says have the same attitude in yourselves which was in Christ Jesus look to him as your example in selfless humility mm -hmm. and verse 6 says who although he existed in the form and unchanging essence of God mm -hmm. as one with him possessing the fullness of all the divine attributes the entire nature of deity mm -hmm did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped or asserted as if he did not already possess it or was afraid of losing it. Now, the Amplified Bible can be kind of wordy, and for some of y'all, you're probably saying, what in the world did he just say? He was God. He knew he was God. He wasn't worried about letting, letting himself go so that he was, well, he had a work to do. And you see in verse 7 where, why, he, um, why, why verse 6 is said the way it said. He knew his identity. Mm -hmm. That's what it was, y'all. Mm -hmm. Watch what verse 7 says. But emptied himself without renouncing or diminishing his deity, but only temporarily giving up the outward expression of divine equality and his rightful dignity by assuming the form of a bond servant and being made in the likeness of men. He became completely human, but what was out sin being fully God and fully man. Now, mm -hmm. I could go and read him, but I'm going to pause parenthetically, go back to a uh, part of this here seventh verse when it says that he only temporarily giving up the outward expression of his divine equality. Mm -hmm. See, God has shown us and, 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 and has expressed this upon me and my spirit to let you know and, and to remind us that, it, you know what, that outward appearance of us that you think that makes you who you are, no, it does not. That's right. It's just an exterior. Mm -hmm. And for the human being, for you to know, that's your body. And from mm -hmm. the dust you came and the dust you shall return. What really defines and makes you who you are is not from without, yes, it is right. from within. Amen. So that's why he had no problem of temporarily laying down his outward expression. Mm -hmm. There was a reason why he had to do that. Mm -hmm. God in the fullness could not have come down here on earth and appeared before men at all. Mm -hmm. The Bible says no man has ever seen God. And the reason why no man has never seen God is not because God don't want to be seen. He did. He came down here as Jesus Christ. That's we right. saw him. But if we had saw him in his fullness, mm. we, let me tell you, there wouldn't have been a soul left alive That's that would, right. if they had saw him. That's He's right. a consuming fire. Hallelujah. And if you had looked on pure holiness, it would have consumed you. And Why? Because all have sinned mm -hmm. and come short of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. So let's move on. And, at, and verse 8 says, and after he was found in terms of his outward appearance as a man for a divinely appointed time, he humbled himself still further by becoming obedient to the Father to the point of death, even death on a cross. Now, selfless humility operate happened for Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. not while he was on earth, y'all. It happened while he was in heaven. Mm -hmm. Because verse 8 sort of identifies that for you. It says, after he was found in terms of his outward appearance, as a man for a divinely appointed time, he humbled himself still, still further. further. So that means that he had humbled himself prior to still That's further. Right. And that That's humbleness right. had to happen while he was in heaven. And he was still God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Now watch what verse 9 says. For this reason, also, because he obeyed and so completely humbled himself, God has highly exalted him. Mm -hmm. And watch this. And bestowed on him the name which is above every mm -hmm. name. Verse 10 says, so that the name of Jesus... Every knee shall bow in submission of those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And verse 11 says, and that every tongue will confess and openly acknowledge mm -hmm. that Jesus Christ is Lord, sovereign God, to the glory yes. of God the Father. Yes. So we see that why 
Well, we ain't gonna take. We didn't want to take long with you getting to understand who was the greatest. That's we got right. some stuff that we're gonna bring out. The Holy Ghost is gonna allow us to bring out according to the scriptures. But yet, still, here's here's what God wants you to know and know it up front. There is nobody greater than Jesus Christ on this earth. That's that, right. No no name that you can come up with that's greater than His name. That's right. And it's not because of something that he that he just put on himself. That's the right. Father put That's it on right. him. That's right. You know, too many people running around here trying to make themselves great. Mm -hmm. They're coming up with these ideas of, of, of putting on a title, or putting on a uh, yeah, putting on a title mm -hmm. or something or another that that they believe will make them great. Mm -hmm. But you ain't great unless God it's declares good. that you're That's great. That's right. Because if he don't declare that you're great, then guess what? You're just great in your own mind. Matter of fact, that is known as the, as the, as the wisdom of man. And guess what that is? Foolishness. Yes. Straight up foolishness. Amen. Amen. Because there's only one that's greatest. That's right. And who is the greatest according to the scripture? That's right. Who could save us except for Jesus? Amen. Amen. Can Amen. nobody save us or go our bond but Jesus? It wasn't our mother, our father, a sister, a brother. Amen. Nobody. Praise God. All glory and honor go to him. Amen. Even while we were in our sin. Amen. Because he's the great I am that I am. Amen. He died for us. Hallelujah. And I'm grateful for that. And you know what? Here's the key. You know what made him great? It wasn't nothing that you and I didn't make him great. Nope. You and I didn't make him great. No, we did. He was made great because of who he was and what he did for what he did on our behalf. That's right. The Bible says, "For God so loved the world, That's he right. gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe upon him would not perish but have everlasting life." That's right. And then it also says, uh, and that's you know John three sixteen, the sinner person, mm -hmm. the person know that too, mm -hmm. y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, John fifteen thirteen, greater love has no one no shown one. than this, that's than right. when they lay down their lives for a friend. That's right. And if that don't float your boat, then let's go to Romans five eight. I'll tell you that's what, you right. hold that thought right there. We're gonna take a break. Amen. That's just the truth, anyhow. With the Weathers Bees of Sound, we'll the Alarm right Ministries, back. we'll be right back. I'm Pastor Arthur Weathers And I'm Pastor Sherry Weathers Bees. You know, we are, that's just the truth anyhow, with the Weathers Bees of Sound, the Alarm Ministry, seen here on Heart Ministry Network. And you know, we're seen on uh, Facebook Live and uh, YouTube Live and mm -hmm. YouTube, uh, I don't know if you want to call it live, the Roku channel and Janico TV. We, we're, we air when? Wednesdays. Wednesdays. I believe at 5.30 p.m. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time, yes. Amen, amen. We hope that you come and join us and, and continue to watch us and follow us, amen, yes. and, and just let us know how we're doing. Yes, pray amen. for us. Amen. Amen. back just as promised that's just the truth Amen. anyhow with the weather so sound the alarm ministry brought to you by heart ministry network that's you know right. we yeah you know when it is being and has been done from the heart you know that it mm -hmm. is being and has been done right you know that right okay Amen. just in case you didn't just a reminder mm -hmm. oh yeah we were talking about uh, uh what made jesus christ great mm -hmm. and we read we told we told you about john 3 16 we told mm -hmm. you about john 15 13 mm -hmm. i also said there was another scripture that that you might want to consider if the other two didn't do anything for you mm -hmm. this ought to just floor you mm -hmm. romans 5 8 says and god clearly proves his own love for us that while we were yet sinners Christ, Christ the Messiah, the anointed one, he died for us. Mm -hmm. That right there or the, that right there makes him more than just great in my Hallelujah. eyes. Because you know what? There was no reason for him to die for us. But for the, the Bible lets us know that he died for the sins of the past, the present, and, and the, the future, future sins. Mm -hmm. So while we were yet sinners, they're talking about them people that was on that that was there at the time of he was on the cross. Mm -hmm. But he died for uh, those of us that was gonna come after, after he them. got off that That's cross, right. was in the grave and was raised up and is back up in the heaven with the Father. Mm -hmm. He still died. Still died. That that's a great that's a mm -hmm. that's somebody that's more than great. You know what? Yes. There's a there's a there's some sort of a debate I would say about how can we describe the Lord? Mm. Well, let me tell you. I'm here to tell you that he's indescribable. 
Yeah. There ain't a word in our, in our English vocabulary or any other language that can come up, that comes anywhere near trying to describe him. And how do I know that to be so? Mm -hmm. Because how does he describe himself? He says, I am. That's right. I am. I am. And I am what? Whatever I am, I am. Whatever he wants to be when he wants to be. He is the eternal God. That's somebody From great. ever to everlasting, he's I am God. Can you my, be I am? My, my. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be I am. Oh, no. And, you know, some people want, some people may want us to be I am. Mm -hmm. They got the wrong focus. Mm -hmm. They better look to the, okay, all right. Let's go to Matthew 17, <laughs> chapter. Amen. Let's go to Matthew 17, chapter, and pick up this illustration here. Amen. Uh, first verse. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, the brother of James, let them up on a high mountain by themselves. Now, that's interesting because he was ministering somewhere. I forgot. I'm trying to see what he, what he was doing there in that 16th chapter. Because mm -hmm. this is a continuation, y'all, right. of what happened up in the 16th chapter of mm -hmm. Matthew. Mm -hmm. So he took with him uh, Peter, James, and John. You know, that ain't the first time that we find that he has taken those three with him to a mm -hmm. special place. Mm -hmm. If you go to Matthew, the 26th chapter, and you pick it up at that 36th verse, you'll mm -hmm. see that he took his disciples with him That's right. after he left the Last Supper. Um, and when I say the disciples, I mean he, the 11. Now, some mm -hmm. people say, wait a minute, Pastor. He had 12 mm -hmm. disciples. Okay, mm -hmm. you nitpicking, but let me help you. Mm -hmm. He had 11 going to the Garden of Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. He dispatched one of them, Judas Iscariot, right. and told him, that what you do, you go do quickly. quickly. He got up yeah. off the tape from the way they were eating and left the place where they were eating, and he went and did what he had to do mm -hmm. because Satan had entered into him. That's so right. he went with 11. Mm -hmm. And the 11, he told us, he said, he said why don't y'all stay here and watch? Mm -hmm. Then the Bible says he went a little further. Went a little further. But he had some 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 people with him. Mm -hmm. James, John, and Peter. Mm -hmm. These same three guys. Mm -hmm. So what is that telling us? He might have had a, a, a group of people that he was hanging out with, but he mm -hmm. only had three that was considered to be an inner circle. That's right. And you know what? Here's something that we've been share, trying to share with people in the body of Christ. That for some of y'all that feel that you got to gain you an entourage or you got to have you a crew. You don't need to have no crew. Mm -hmm. What you need to have is three, a couple people. I don't know. It may not even be three. Mm -hmm. But you need to have uh, just only a few people mm -hmm. that you can actually have an interaction with that goes beyond just, hey, how you doing? What's up? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. No. When you need to have some serious interaction, like if you need to go before the Lord, if you need to uh, have right. somebody to pray for you, if you need somebody to fast on your behalf, That's right. you had better have some folks that are, that know the Lord and that absolutely, if they can pray, that they can get a prayer through. That's right. Because everybody can't. Everybody can't. And God selects them. He does. Mm -hmm. that's, that's Might not key. be your selection. And, and I've been there and done that. <laughs> but uh, God selects them because, like Jesus said at one time, you know my pain. That's right. You know, the, the, the inner circle. You know my suffering. Praise God. And, and that inner circle will protect you. That's right. Oh well, yeah. And you know that's an important thing key right there because when we go to that particular <clears throat> scripture, you find that in Matthew that the 26th chapter when Jesus was with his inner circle, mm -hmm. he uh, expressed uh, uh, his 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 feelings. Mm -hmm. He showed forth his emotions. Mm -hmm. And then he went a little further in one in the next verse and said, "You know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm distressed uh, to sorrow. I'm 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 feeling I'm almost to death." Yeah. In other words, he was depressed he and he that. felt like, you know, I'm dying. And, and mm -hmm. the reason why he was going through all of that, y'all, is because he knew what was laying before him. Yeah. This was the night that he was to be betrayed. That's right. And this was the night that he was to be on trial. This was the night he was beaten half to death. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, a normal, regular person would have died from what he mm -hmm. from that beating that he mm -hmm. took mm -hmm. to even get to the cross. Yes. So this was the night all that was going to happen. And then this was going to be the day that the night, matter of fact, that Peter, one of his inner circle folks, actually failed him. And denied him three times. Yes. This was also going to be the night that the people decided who they wanted to uh, save. Pontius Pilate gave him gave them a way out. This man, he said, I don't find nothing wrong with him. Mm -hmm. And then he, then he said, Well, I got a, I got it within my power to to free uh, whomever I want to free on this yes. on this occasion. Mm -hmm. And I, he brought forth a, a known killer, a murderer, murderer, and Barabbas, named Barabbas, Barabbas. And says, Who do you want to free, Barabbas or, G or Jesus? They said. Give us Barabbas. Mm -hmm. These were the same people, same people that when he came into Jerusalem and he was on the white donkey mm -hmm. and people were throwing uh, uh, palms. Palm leaves, yes. Yeah. They was, well, you know what? 
it was the people that was with him that was actually was saying Hosanna, Hosanna. Mm-hmm. They was mm-hmm. lined up on the streets. Mm-hmm. They saw him. Yeah. They didn't say nothing about killing him then. No. But all of a sudden, Lord help me. Now we wonder why he's the greatest. To endure there all of that? There shouldn't even be a question about who anymore, especially for us as saints of God. That's that's a good point right there because would you would you be put would you go through and do and finish a task assignment that was given to you after you went through all that mess that he went through mm-hmm. with people doing everything this was before he got to the cross mm-hmm. they was the bible says he came unto his own and they received him not that's right then he had his whole family turn on him in Matthew the 12th chapter the 46 through the 50th verse also Mark 331 through 35 his whole family turned on him they thought the man was straight up crazy, crazy for running around the region talking about the kingdom of God is at hand. And this is why, this is one of many reasons, people of God and, and, and everybody, that we should um, keep Jesus as the focal point for our life. Amen. For all, how we live, what to, what, how should we act when trials and tests and tribulations come. The things that happen to him, we go through the same thing. But That's when right. we look at the greatest one, and how he handled it, praise God, then we'll know how to handle it. That's right. We'll know how to walk as he walked, talk as he talked, think as he thought, endure the trials and tests and tribulations because we truly have them. He, he, the word of God lets us know that uh, those that would live godly, mm-hmm. you know, would suffer persecution. But we have to walk that walk of humility. That's right. Because for me, Jesus, that was the greatest thing about him. Many people put a lot of things on the signs, wonders, and miracles. Ain't nothing wrong with them. I need them yeah. every day, right? Amen. Praise God. But his humility. That's right. His humility said, Father, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. And also the word of God lets us know that humility becomes before honor. Absolutely. And before we We want to even... honor. Yeah. But a lot of us, I won't say everybody because I don't believe in putting everybody in the same boat. But there are some of us that want the honor, you know. Right. Otherwise, uh, other than walking in the humility of Christ, otherwise the obedience to the Father. That's right. Because he said, I do all things to please my Father. That's right. Why are we doing all things? That's right. And, and, and speaking about that humility, that humility mm-hmm. is, a, is a key. Let me tell you, you mm-hmm. can't get saved without humility. Mm-hmm. Somebody's saying, what are you mm-hmm. saying? Well, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. First off, in order for you to get saved, you got to say what? I'm a sinner. Mm-hmm. You got to admit mm-hmm. that Acknowledge. thing. Yes. If you don't acknowledge you're a sinner, then you can't get saved. What, what do you mean, Pastor? Mm-hmm. Well, salvation is, is, is your being saved from the penalty of sin. But if you don't believe that you're a sinner, then how are you going to get saved? That's right. And you ain't got no reason to come to Jesus. You don't come to him. You don't have no reason for he, him to draw you That's and for right. you to uh, uh, to do what you need to do to confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God the Father raised him from the dead. You will be saved. Amen. Romans 10, 9. You ain't got no reason to do that if mm-hmm. you don't see yourself as a sinner. That's right. But let me, let me tell you something. All have sinned I'm sure. and come short of the glory, the glory of God, whether you want to admit it or not. The word decrees and declares you to be so. And guess what? God is not a man. That's and he shall right. lie, nor the son of man. He needs to repent for That's anything right. that he has said. Has he not said it and can he not make he good on make it? it good. Has he not promised and can he not bring it to pass? That's he absolutely right. can. Isaiah 55, 11 says, so shall my word be that goes forth before out of my, my, my mouth. mouth. It prosper in the very thing I intended to do. Don't come back to me, boy. Mm-hmm. Useless like I can't come, like I can't do that. He That's can do right. all things but fail. That's right. And, and, and he didn't make it hard. For us to receive him is as simple as ABC. ABC. We have the right heart. Admit, believe, and confess. And and you have to confess and, and believe in the great and, one. Yes. The and great in your I heart. Am. It's That's gotta right. be from the heart. That's right. And who is the greatest according to the scripture? We I, I think you kind of get an idea by now, but mm-hmm. just in case you don't, mm-hmm. we'll be back in Matthew. Mm-hmm. So we're talking about them in the six days, mm-hmm. and that John and they yeah, we and they took him to the high mountain. Mm-hmm. And watch this. And verse two said, and his appearance changed dramatically mm-hmm. in their presence, and his face shone with heavenly glory glory, clear and bright like the sun, and his clothing become as white as light. You know the Holy Ghost hit me with this as you was reading that scripture. Mm-hmm. Guess what happened? Mm-hmm. You know what happens? You know the Bible says, well, no, the song says every round goes higher, higher and higher. higher. Mm-hmm. But don't you know when you go higher and higher in the Lord, you get closer and closer, closer to him. And That's the more right. you get closer and closer to him, guess what? The, the Shekinah, Shekinah glory, of the glory of the Lord will show, show forth through That's you. That's right. You know, how people be wondering, like, they be looking at you and say, what in the world? Why are you looking like mm-hmm. that? 
And they and it ain't because of no no particular clothing that you no, got it's on. Not it ain't from about Avon, your hair, dude. It ain't about but Avon they say, and said, all those cosmetics. No, it ain't. <laughs> it, ain't, it, ain't it ain't about them. Mm -hmm. They say you got to kind of glow on you. Mm -hmm. Been in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. The higher you get, and he took them up higher. So and, and he as he kept on going up higher, mm -hmm. the Bible says that his presence changed dramatically. His yes, face shone yes. with heavenly glory. Yes. Oh my God, Hallelujah. don't you know when you go up higher and higher, you just don't have some glory. You have heavenly glory. Heavenly glory. Oh my. That magnifies him. Oh my. Mm -hmm. That's that's almost like full strength. Mm -hmm. You know, because we got a little glory. You can get a little glory. I tell you what, you hold that <laughs> thought right there about that glory. Yes. That's just the truth anyhow with the Weathersby of Sound the Alarm Jesus. Ministries. I'm Pastor Arthur Weathersby. Pastor Sherry Weathersby. And don't you know, here's the thing about, uh, about the uh, what we do. Um, when you're living, you're living your best life. When you're living your life in your shoe of Christ, yes. and you know what? Till you come back next week, we'll be. We'll till you come back with us next week. We'll still be here. Yes. And well, while we're here, and when we're not here, guess what? We be doing. We, we do, do the thing, thing in, in the, the Lord. Lord. God, bless, God you. bless you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.